So I'm a journalist uh, and an activist, uh, a lifelong socialist. The reason I came to politics, to be brutally honest, is it's just a very long family tradition. It goes back to you know, my great granddad was in the general strike in 1926. He was a train driver and he had his wages docked, which I still intend to get revenge for at some point. Um, my great uncle was on the football team of the Independent Labour Party, which left the Labour Party in the 30s. My granddad joined the Communists uh, as a dot worker in Portsmouth in the 1940s. And my parents met through the Militant Tendency, which was a Trotskyist group which um, entered the Labour Party in the 1970s and the 1980s. And my dad was the South Yorkshire organiser for the Militant for several years, including during the miners' strike. Well, I was first kettled when I was 16 and uh, that was in Manchester in 2001. It was a May Day protests and I think there was just a few hundred people protesting that day and the police kettled us and said, demanded to know who the representatives, who the leadership were, which everyone thought was hilarious and they kept us there for ages and then I was finally released but I remember some police officers made us sit on the ground and had to wait and uh, I made um, a slightly immature comment about the shoe size of the police officer and thought maybe conclusions could be drawn from that and uh, so I stopped and searched as a result of it in quite an aggressive way by one of his colleagues. Big moment of course for people particularly uh, of our generation was the anti-war movement and stop the war and I must have marched dozens of times. I marched the big, the first big one which was in September 2002 in London when even then huge numbers of people came to the streets but it was, of course, the 15th of February 2003 and an absolutely freezing cold day. And it wasn't really a march because it was just so many people. It was more of a shuffle. The sorts of people who'd never dream of going on a demonstration otherwise, uh, who were there with a sense of defiance and a sense that there's no way, no way they'll be able to go to war with so many people on the streets. And uh, odd how it now looks to say that looking back. But the end of that was a kind of jubilation almost. <laughs> such an unprecedented act of defiance with no one no demonstration history in Britain even close to that size and of course they won't be able to go to war in Iraq which then happened anyway but I continued to be involved in all the protests even the months afterwards during the war itself so that was something I was very much threw myself into like so many of I suppose other young people